Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on YouTube? It's Filthy and I'm back with another video. Today we're looking at Whirlwind for the Barbarian for Season 22. And this is probably one of my all-time favourite builds in the game since they've reworked this set. It was so chill to play. We're going to do some Speed 99s with 800 Paragon. Very easy, very straightforward, very tanky and we do a lot of damage. Now this isn't the starting set, so that's the bad news. But once we get this set up, it is my favourite way to speed build. I much prefer this for speeds over the Savage. It for me is easy to play goes further and is faster but before we take a look i'd just like to welcome anyone who's new to the channel consider subscribing if you haven't already done so we've got plenty more videos on the way thanks to everybody who's been supporting me on twitch lately and also youtube comments likes it all means a lot but yeah if you've got any questions come see me on twitch and we'll uh, we'll go through it but hopefully after this video it should be nice and straightforward now wrath of the waste not much has changed. We're not really going to make use of any of the reworks. So the only item potentially we could change is the mantle of channeling, which has been reworked for the bar. But the two piece for this particular set, we basically get more rend damage, which is nice. So 500% extra rend per second, and we increase its duration up to 15 seconds. We're going to crunch that down to one second with the Ambos Pride, which obviously is another pretty big damage buff. Uh, the four piece, we could get our damage reduction. So Three seconds after we whirlwind, we get 50% DR. We also get triple rend damage. Again, another modifier for rend, pretty good. And the six piece, we don't really care about whirlwind damage at all, but we get 10,000% extra rend damage. Now, with Ambos, whirlwind applies rend. So rend is doing all the damage. So we want physical, because rend is gonna be a physical skill. We want rend damage on our chest and rend damage on our shoulders. We don't want whirlwind damage. Can't stress that enough. Now, we're also gonna take an Echoing Fury as our other weapon. You need them this way around because one of the passives, you have to have a mighty weapon in this slot here. You cannot run the weapons like this, it won't work. So just bear that in mind as well. And then Lamentation, I haven't rolled this belt. Uh, I guess I just forgot. Um, you know, the multiplier, obviously 150 is the max. That's pretty good. Rend also stacks two times, uh, but the rest of that belt obviously needs improving. Now. Other than that guys, we're pretty much gonna take some gems to damage. So we're gonna have a Bane of the Trapped, we're gonna have a Taeguk. So this one is up, pretty much always up. It's a close range build. We will be vortexing enemies towards us, which is nice. We're gonna get more damage and toughness whenever we channel with the Taeguk, which is good. And then a Bane of the Powerful will obviously give us more damage once we pop that first elite. Now, the only thing that has really changed for this season is we now can work in focus and restraint. So no more COE, haven't bothered with that but by all means it is a potential addition now we proc one part with the furious charge here so that is nice because it also procs up band of might for 80 percent toughness and then we proc the other one obviously with the whirlwind so we generate we spend and it's a 50 percent modifier 50 percent modifier and that's one of the things that makes this nice and smooth because it's just consistent damage the whole way now other than that we're going to juice the absolute crap out of cooldown so i've gone for the reaver so we get one second off one of these skills at random whenever we kill something we vaporize loads of stuff so loads of cool down there we also get one second off everything when we hit with whirlwind so provided we've got enemies we've pretty much got perma wrath of the berserker uptime which is nice we also get really good uptime on our ignore pain which is good we've also always got furious charge if we want to zip around the map a little faster we've always got access to war cry now, COE, certainly, if you wanted to try and take out one of these cooldown items, you could do. You could maybe put a COE here and rely on the Reaver. That would get you some extra tears. What I found, though, with the Angel Paragon is we are a little squishy. So you've got to bear that in mind. If, you, if you're wanting to go a little bit higher, you're probably going to have to maybe do something for the defense. Now, in terms of stats, you want cooldown, basically. So cooldown, you don't really want area damage for this because we're not going to actually press this button here. A, a manual rend will benefit from area damage when you're pushing, you do want it, uh, but for speed you don't really want it. Damage percent's fine, uh, we want physical on braces, physical on amulet if we can, obviously crits are just generally always useful, but rend here, rend here, and then you should be pretty golden. Now I think that covers all the items, so let's have a little look see at the skills. Whirlwind Hurricane, this is because we want to suck stuff towards us because I'm lazy, so if we can vortex things in then that's going to be great. 35 yard pull, not too bad. And then Weapons Master is our mechanism for generating fury. So obviously the mighty weapon was two fury pit. That's why the weapons need to be that way around. Now if we do run dry, we can pop Warcry. So if you get lost, if you go the wrong way and you run out of fury, you can just click this button and you get some more. 
This will also give us all res, so again, helping up with the toughness. Again, we've got all res gems in our gear, as I'm sure you probably saw. Rend Bloodbath, this just deals the most damage. Obviously, whatever room we pick on this rend will be applied. This one just hits like an absolute truck. No Pain Bravado, this is really nice because if we do drop Wrath of the Berserker for whatever reason, again, let's say we've got lost, we've gone the wrong way, we do have another 50% damage reduction here and CC immunity, plus we can get 40% move speed whenever we pop this, it's again pretty nice. Uh, Wrath of the Berserker, Insanity, obviously Barb Staple, move speed, increased damage, crit chance, attack speed, dodge chance, just, you know, it's going to be in every build basically. And Furious Charge, obviously this is here for damage reduction, but also to pop uh, pop the one half of Bastion's will. It also allows us to get around the map and the way this works is we can get cooldown reduction when we hit stuff. So if we Furious Charge into something, it just means the Zodiac and Reaver are not working quite as hard. Now Rampage will give us strength per kill, so we stack up to 25% extra strength. So again, more juice on this in terms of Paragon. Augments, this will do more work for you, which is nice. Nerves of Steel, this is helpful for the boss fight because the boss can be a little slow. Uh, it's also helpful if you get sucked into an explosion. I generally don't take this off my speed builds. Uh, Ruthless, 40% extra damage when we get enemies below 30% health. Again, very handy for the boss. And Weapons Master, as we covered for the Fury generation. Now, this isn't the only way to run Whirlwind. It's a very flexible setup, so you can try the Bulkathos Blades here. They give move speed, but obviously with the way that the Echoing Fury works, we get 75% attack speed and 25% move speed from this item. So if we do take that off, then obviously it's a bit of a kind of you know give and take. It's not it's not like we're getting just the benefits of the Bulkathos. You can take the Istavan set. This gives us armor, attack speed, and damage. Again, you're going to need to work Ambos into the cube. So you could do these two here. Uh, put the Ambos here instead of the Reaver and just rely on the Zodiac for the uptime. That's certainly an option. Uh, as I say, I've just kind of I've gone for this just to keep it really chill. You know, there's, there's very there's very little that can go wrong with this uh, at the kind of 99, kind of 100-ish level. But that is whirlwind. That is that is probably a base kind of template for you. As I say, you can swap these things around. You know, there are other options you've got for weapons. Mortix Brace again is something potentially to work in if you want to go higher because this will give you a 50% damage reduction the whole way. It gives you every run on Wrath of the Berserker. So you could give up a little bit of move speed here and put that there. You could then maybe take the ambos off, stick it here, and then do these two there. Again, you're going to be slowing the character down a little bit, but you'll obviously be tougher and hit harder. So if you want to go up to kind of the next level uh, of speeds, then that might well be it. But as I say, 800 Paragon, 99s. Uh, fairly happy with this and obviously if you want to go further but just be a little slower there's certainly some options but that's the build guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're staying safe i've been filthy casual i'll see you again on season 22 hopefully very soon so uh yeah enjoy your time in diablo i'll speak to you again real soon take it easy peace